Hello everybody, I'm the Sweet Gamer and welcome back to our subscriber zoo number two where this fine evening we are gonna add another animal from the list of animals you suggested. These are still from the pilot episode and I'll try to make every animal that I suggested and I'll see if there's not enough space then maybe in the next zoo. So we are gonna get started and I picked this corner behind next to the Okapis for our next animals and this next animal is, so for some reason, the picture's standing still. Um, anyway, this animal I depict is the Atlantic Humpback Dolphin. A couple of things that I want to say before we get into talking about stuff is that it would be great if you guys could leave a like, that always is good. If you could comment asking for animals, giving names for animals, and all that kind of stuff, that would be awesome. I do add the names to the animals. I do try to show it in the videos, but sometimes I forget about it, but yes. And another thing is that from now on I decided what I kind of want to try to do is while I build the animal enclosure, you know how I ask for topics, you can still give me topics if you want, to talk, want me to talk about something specific, but what I'm also going to do is give a few uh, facts about the animals that I'm making the enclosure for, so for example right now. I'm making an enclosure for the Atlantic humpback dolphin, so I'm going to tell you things about that animal, and that way you guys can learn something. I can learn something because I don't know many things about most of these animals, but I will obviously have a look at them before I record this, and then I can tell you guys about it and share the knowledge. What do you guys think about that? I think it's a pretty cool idea, so tell me what you think. Oh, also, I made the video slightly slower. Some of you said uh, complained it was a bit too fast, so it's still faster than it than it's normally, but it's a bit slower than than the last few episodes. So let's get talking about the Atlantic humpback dolphin. The Su Susa Tiz Tuzi, also known as Atlantic humpback dolphins, measure a maximum of two meters in length and weigh about 150 kilograms. They're classified as a vulnerable species, which is not quite endangered, but one step below it. They have large long beaks, a large melon heads, and well-rounded flippers. Their common name comes from the shape of the unique dorsal fin, which measures about 15 centimeters high and curves uh, to form a distinct hump, as you can see on the picture on the screen right now. They are known to swim more slowly than other species of dolphins. They dive for periods for up to three minutes and are known to jump out of the water. They live in coastal waters and river channels. Marine biologists believe that the reason for this is that they try to avoid their predators. The orcas are also known as killer whales. The Atlantic humpback dolphin is a somewhat solitary species which have been observed traveling and feeding alone. However, small groups of 3 to 7 and larger groups of 20 to 25 have also been reported. Gently, these groups consist of younger dolphins. They feed on schooling fish such as herring, sea bream, sardines and mullets. When feeding in groups, they hurt their prey close to land, making it harder for them to escape. That is about all that I wanted to tell you about the Atlantic Compact Dolphin. Just a few interesting facts, hopefully for you guys interesting, so that way you guys can learn. I didn't know these things about them, and oh, probably you didn't either, and now hopefully you do. Also, what what do you guys think about this format? How how do you like me telling you a bit about the animal? Me having to research about the animal first, anyway. I mean, some of these things are also on the Zoo Taken game itself. I didn't get any of these facts from there, so it might be completely different. I, I got these facts from different websites, but stuck them together. Took the most interesting ones out, really, and yeah. So, in-game, it's happening right now. You see I made this rectangular tank. With, with one side being being flat to the open and then from pretty much three sides you've got this elevated path so you can see the water from the top and you can look inside the glass and see underwater so that you get the best experience of the dolphins doing their jumping out the water like I told you they do and also seeing them dive because since they dive for about three minutes you might be able to see them dive for quite a while and yeah then obviously they need their zookeeper and I also wanted to tell you guys who suggested this animal and I think it was Alessandro Ernani or he, he at least says dolphins and whales 
Example orcas, bottlenose dolphins and the downloaded dolphins. These are one of the downloaded dolphins from the mods. So yeah. Also someone else said... Ah yeah, Cole Beasley said aquatic session. So this is a bit of it. So yeah, that, that was at least from the first episode. Well, from the pilot, episode zero. And there were maybe other suggestions from the other, but I haven't looked at those yet. Um, yeah, that was it. How did you guys like this video? How did you like the tips? Leave the comments, comments, comments. And remember, if you haven't yet, leave a like. Leave the likes, please, please, please. please. Okay, shouldn't beg. Anyway, that was pretty much it for now. So, I hope you liked this enclosure. You see in the end, I did change the things around a bit. I think I kind of lost a tiny bit of recording. That's why it suddenly changed. Because I didn't see a change in this video. It seems like I've lost something. Oh, and I think I, <laughs> I realized I added a different type of dolphin as well. Which I didn't talk about. Um, oh, well. Yeah, I, I think I added a different type of dolphin. You guys can tell me which dolphin it was. And maybe I can tell you about that a bit otherwise. And yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching and see you next video.